What's up, LD Shot LD here, and welcome back to X Life for the final time. I've just been peacefully living out my last life here on the server, and I'm almost ready to die of old age. But there's one last thing I want to do before I leave this world. I want to build a museum dedicated to me and my lives. So I have selected a building plot in my area. I flattened out this huge cliff top here where we will build the museum, and I thought it would be nice and whimsical if the entrance to the museum was past all the flowers fields and past these lovely buildings and this is where construction shall begin. So it all started with my first life on one red heart and one of the first things I did was build a clubhouse for myself and the rest of the one hearters. So let's start out by building a little replica. So here we have a very slender version of the one heart clubhouse and I'm just gonna surround it with these red flowers just like the real clubhouse. Now on my first life I also befriended a beautiful cow called Daisy and she's missing now. I don't know where she went. She is no longer a resident of Moo Moo Meadows. We have just a bunch of cow Jeremy's now. Yep. Oh wait, there she is! She was hiding in the sunflowers. Well, it looks like we won't be needing a pet graveyard after all. In fact, I'm gonna build her a statue. Such a beautiful cow deserves a beautiful statue. Oh, she cute, but I have an idea to make her adorable. We should give her a little cowbell. So, let's see if I have a spare bell lying around. Oh, I do. Oh, kind of looks like a goatee growing from her chin, but it's kind of cute. And the final thing that I did on One Heart was a lot of research into pandas. I spent a lot of time on a bamboo island waiting for them to spawn. So since these pandas are such a huge part of my life and one of the main reasons the server lags so much, we should probably give them a place in the museum. So I'm gonna chop down a little bit of bamboo and I'm gonna steal some of the cutest pandas and I'm gonna place him in the museum display. Oh, you can't, you can't leash them? Well, that's crazy. Guess I gotta trap him with bamboo then. Now, Anonymous Panda, you will serve out the rest of your days in this bamboo prison. So that sums up my first life. So what went wrong? Well, in episode six, I suffered a small fall. And that was the end of my first life. So to represent that, I thought it would be fun if along this path, I just put a small hole and then we transition into my second life. And it turns out, all I did in this life was give my house a makeover. So I'm gonna start by building a miniature version of my house. Oh, it's so cute. And now I will decorate the inside of this tiny replica with some of my favorite home items. So let's go and choose some of my favorite things. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. How could I possibly choose? Everything in here is iconic. But if I had to whittle it down to a few things, it would be my aquarium, my froggy chair, my crescent moon crafting table, my beautiful rug, my secret bookshelf, and my chimney. I just love my chimney. Okay, ta-da! Oh my gosh. It's really chaotic in here, but that sums up my life pretty well. Now, as you might be able to tell, I didn't live on two hearts for very long, and I actually died in a very disturbing way. Flashback. Everything's fine. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, everything is not fine. It's not responding. Oh! So next in the museum, I built this dangerous nether area to transition from one life to the next. So we are now on my third life. And I spent most of my third life working on my new business, the Frog Prince Boutique, where I sold rugs to all of my friends. So here I've built a tunnel matching the color scheme, and I'm just gonna place some of my famous rugs all over to celebrate this glorious third life. But as you know, all good things must come to an end, and this life came to an end when I was invited to the Colosseum to experience Death by end troll. Flashback. Oh. Kill it! Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Not my finest moment, but it must be remembered nonetheless. Which is why I have built this death pit, and inside it, I will place this end troll. Hopefully, this doesn't go wrong. This is fine. This is oh, not fine, not fine! That's actually kind of poetic. What a mess he has made. How has he even done this? I spent a lot of time on that hole. Okay, this time we have the subject contained. 
And after my encounter with the end troll, I was on to my fourth life. With these orange hearts, I accomplished a lot of things on X Life. I built a little cottage for my pet box, a creepy horse stable for my nightmare steeds. I tried to kill everyone with a bit of parkour. I accidentally killed dozens of Jeremy's in a tragic accident. I joined a coven of witches. And finally, I put a curse on Jack Sucks. So I think here in the museum it would be fun to build a little Jeremy graveyard because it's not an LD Shadow Lady series without a pet graveyard. So here lie all the Jeremys. Rest in peace Jeremys, you were taken too soon by me, I'm sorry. Oh no! Not again! <gasps> oh no 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 no! The Jeremys nearly died twice! Okay, this time I'm gonna leave the crater here as a reminder to myself that some creatures just can't be contained. I also want to commemorate me joining the coven here. So I'm gonna replace the floor with some spooky dark oak planks. Add a few witchy items around to make this place look magical. I've also got some artwork of me and Moonpaw together. And finally, my magic carpet. Oh, beautiful! What a wonderful time I had on Four Hearts, but unfortunately it didn't last forever because my life-binding curse on Jack backfired when he was publicly executed, resulting in my death as well. Flashback. Uh, any last words, Jack? <laughs> I'm excited for the future, Joel. Ah, oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> oh! What is it? What? I made a terrible <laughs> mistake! She looks, she looks a little insane. Oh, oh. So to commemorate this, I'm going to remove this cute archway and instead build a giant execution style guillotine. Just like the one that killed Jack. And walking through the guillotine brings us nicely onto my fifth life with pink hearts. However, unfortunately, this didn't last very long. Thanks to Jack sucks and the life binding curse. Here we go. Brilliant. So when I logged in, this happened. Oh! Before I knew it, I was already on six hearts. And in this life on six purple hearts, I decided to put my friends to the test. In the whole of friendship, some people proved their friendship to me, while others became my enemies. So here is a mini version of the Hall of Friendship. And here are all the friends that proved their worthiness. Of course, I also built a horse racing course and made my friends race around it to win the Horse Girl Award. So here is the award and I think it'd be cute to go and find a horse for this area of the museum. So hopefully there's one nearby and I can just do a little switcheroo that I may later live to regret. Oh no! Ta-da! But the good times didn't last forever because once again I logged in to experience death at the hands of the life binding curse. And from here things started to get a little dark. So I'm gonna build a giant black tunnel to signify my descent into madness. And so, on my seventh life, with these disgusting yellow hearts, I had only one thing on my mind. Revenge. Yes, you might remember that I baked Jack in an oven. So, here I am building a replica of my giant death oven. Ta-da! And that's all I'm gonna build, because immediately after killing Jack, I also died. <laughs> so let's just... Make a little escape here. Which leads us onto eight hearts. The cutest color of hearts. However, unfortunately, I didn't get to enjoy them for very long because I was executed for my crime of killing Jack. I was burned alive in a tree. So let's build a huge tree. Wow, there. So now I must pass through the tree to atone for my sins to reach my next life. And this life, much like many of my others, did not last a long time either. In fact, the only significant thing I did in this time was help bring down the Church of Jeremy. And since this is the last exhibit in the museum, I thought it would be a cool idea to 
steal something. Something real, a real artifact. From the Church of Jeremy. Somewhere here in the Jeremy Holy Land, which is beautiful by the way, oh my goodness. Somewhere, there's a horrifying picture. Not that one, but that's a close second. Oh wait, this is it. It's not a picture at all. It's a statue, I can't steal this. What is this? The ancient book of Je- Perfect. Oh my, it's a seven page book of Jeremyism lore. This is perfect for my collection. And also I will take this. Here I'm gonna build a marble room to represent the concept of Jeremyism. And inside here, I'm going to place all of the stolen Jeremyism artifacts that I have procured. And I think it would be rather poetic to take some of the lava that killed me and a lot of the Jeremyism members. And I'm even gonna hit up the Jeremyism embassy to see if there's something I can steal here. Dang it, I can't get in. The security is tight. I can't get in. Okay, that's it. I'm taking a flag. This whole flag, I'm taking it. You can't stop me. Wow, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? And I think that's it. My collection is complete because I fell in the Jeremyism death lava and now I'm here on 10 hearts building this crazy museum dedicated to my lives. And look, it's a mess. First, I was on one heart and then I had a small fall and it was two heart club for me. I lived a good life until I didn't and I died in the nether. Then on to three lives where I sold rugs for diamonds until one fateful day when I met an end troll. Yep, life started to go downhill from there. And on four hearts, I killed a bunch of Jeremy's and I became a witch. I put the life binding curse on Jack and his public execution meant my death too. Onto five hearts, oh just kidding, straight onto six hearts, where I tested my friends and their horse riding skills before dying again, only to get revenge by cooking Jack in an oven, which also killed me. And of course I had to pay for my crimes. And on nine hearts, I killed Jeremyism and Jeremyism killed me. And here we are today. One last look at the life history book shows that I have spent many hours on this ridiculous game. What is wrong with me? Well, I think I'm ready now. I think it's time. So I went around the server and gathered up all my loved ones. I kissed Fernando goodbye, placed my totem of undying in an item frame, and I went to sleep for the final time, surrounded by my loved ones, and died just as I had lived. Dramatically.